Hello, and welcome to this episode of Megabox Press. Today I'm going to have a look at treat filament called Heritage Brick. It's a, like a brick color filament. So let's have a look at the intro. So here on the label they say uh, the name is Heritage Brick and print settings should be 120 to 240. Uh, bed temperature 90, 85 to 115 and speed 60 to 70 and cooling low to none and here they say from the three treat architectural architectural material line for print with a brick like finish and more information on their webpage and I had a look at their webpage and, and they don't say what the base material is for this uh, filament but uh, based on the printing settings and behavior and, and acetone testing <laughs> I believe this is ABS uh, it behaves like ABS at least in my tests so far uh, of course I'm not entirely sure what they add in it but uh, print settings and, and behavior seems like ABS but let's have a look at the prints I did so first I was trying to print a banshee <laughs> had some <laughs> failures <laughs> um, and splitting and here uh, I had some part cooling fan on and it split it up quite quite good <laughs> uh, it's not very very nice <laughs> but then I turned off part cooling and got this overhang issue here and very similar to some other ABS prints I've done uh, using similar settings I haven't really tuned my environment for ABS printing but this is what I got from it not, not very nice <laughs> uh, but then I um, printed this uh, layers a lot um, it has had a little bit of splitting issue the, the bottom of it came off and I was removing it from the bed it was really stuck to the PI sheet on my Prusa so this came apart so layer addition is maybe not very great but uh, it somewhat looks quite okay there's issue here with the overhang but like here in the body and the seal looks pretty nice and here in the back so i believe if you have the right settings and environment for printing this material you can get decent prints but it's very difficult to tune in uh, a filament with just the sample um, and finally i did this other model by gareth and here are an auto filament but here you can see the underside has a little bit of drooping and, and here is drooping as well but the surface finish here is, is, is quite nice so like i said i believe you can tune this filament in a little bit better and, and get decent prints but that's what you get with the samples you don't <laughs> always get a chance to do a proper tuning of filaments i had like mixed results with this filament uh, i don't blame the filament though just the the fact that I didn't have any profile for this filament and I'm sure I will be able to tune in this filament if I had a, a full roll of it <laughs> but uh, like the color is like like brick as you say it's like brown brick and um, I believe the, the material is ABS and I wish they would just say that it's ABS <laughs> so you can use ABS settings don't have to experiment but uh, they don't say it on the website so I can be 100% sure but I was trying to put some acetone on the material and it, it was getting soft so I believe it's uh, that's a good for this <laughs> but uh, for this video this will be it if you like what I'm doing here on the channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and, and leave a comment on the video what you think of it so this will be it for this video I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one